Hello, so this is how I use Raspberry Pis uh, for teaching kids, actually blind kids, the anatomy of a PC. So this is a typical setup, like, like I, I connect a keyboard and, and network cable. But instead of uh, using screen, I only, we only use the speakers because they cannot see. I mean, some of them can barely, but m most of them can't see the screen. So I, I put the Japanese voice synthesizer on my own to to this the to the piece to the machine and now this is how they work i'm now starting up two machines and by the way these are two two machines are connected uh, by a hub to my server so called so they can talk to each other and and now you hear the startup sound. Everything has to be for for blind people there because they cannot see the screen. Everything has to be spoken or in sound or using braille display, but it's so expensive we cannot use it. Anyway, so this is my my voice synthesizer, so it sounds crappy. Anyway, and kids love it because it you can actually feel how it it looks like. By, by touching and it's it's so small so it's easy to understand and you can feel you can touch actually the CPU on it so yeah it was helpful for them to understand uh, the basics or the core of the computer anyway so I'm now switching to the chat mode and, uh, konnichiwa No. So basically the thing is that the text message is sent to the server uh, to, uh, to sent to this from this machine to this machine by a server. So they can understand the network is working just as uh, as 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 well as the normal PCs and they can also hear what what's happening. And by connecting, I, I didn't use much screen, but by connecting the, the display, they can actually see this is mostly identical, like functionally mostly similar to like, to any existing PCs or not, not, I mean, laptop. So yeah, that's how I use it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.